Listen to this. We become valuable to the extent to which we value values. We remain valueless for as long as we despise values. We become a principal nation. We can become a principal nation if we can become a principled people. Today, we are far from being a principal nation in the earth, even though we have all the potentials to be one, because we are far from being a principled people. We celebrate corruption and coronate deception. Did you hear what I just said? We celebrate corruption as a nation and coronate deception, enthrone deception. Some time ago, there was the question about someone's first school living certificate. Why the result was not clear. Date of birth was not clear. Yet people defended such absurdity, abnormality, mediocrity, impropriety, and swept it all under the carpet. Today we are in the rut we are in. Massive, massive insecurity, poverty, everything, because nothing mattered. Now, there are people who are clamoring for the highest office in the land, experiencing allegations and counter allegations of corruption. There are some whose names, nobody is sure. Date of birth, nobody is sure. Source of money, nobody is sure. State of health, nobody is sure. Level of sanity and reasoning capacity, nobody is sure. Schools attended, nobody is sure. And yet they are being marketed and advertised to lead the nation to a destination that nobody is sure. Listen. But who is it that will patronize questionable character, market them, and fraternize with them, except people with questionable, dubious, and fraudulent characters themselves? Lions patronize lions. Dogs patronize dogs. Thieves patronize thieves. Criminals congregate in the same vicinage. Everyone is confirming their true nature and character by who they associate with. Who they celebrate and who they advertise in this season. You are just confirming who you are. By who you are following. Some time ago, a pastor in Lagos preached in the church and he said, Every member of this church, may God make your children to become like those you want to vote for. Nobody said amen. <laughs> if they are thieves, may God make your children become like thieves. Nobody say them. If they are drug, drug addicts and drug barons, may God make your children hook on drugs. No amen. If they are corrupt and thieves, may your children become roadside robbers. No amen. Most people today are only advertising for their self in interest. My party should be in power so I can remain relevant. Because they are totally irrelevant. They don't have any productive life. Not the interest of the nation. Whether their candidate has capacity or character is immaterial to them. It is if my party is out of power, I will be out of money. I will be out of opportunity, etc. There is no trace of love for the people. 
No concern for the suffering of the masses. No concern for the historic level of insecurity, hunger, failed education, almost failed everything. They don't, it doesn't bother them. The same people whose coalition brought the country into this terrible disaster should continue in power. <laughs> Beloved, it is time to vote values. Vote principles, vote character, vote capacity, vote competence, vote proven track records. Not just party, not tribe, not religion. Somebody told me the story from the south part of this country. He went to one roadside worker and he asked him, who will you vote? And the man said, for which opposition? He said, president. He said, okay, if he's president, this is my choice. What of senator? This is my choice. He mentioned another party. What of house of rep? He mentioned another party. People have come to the point now where their matter is who is the individual, not just who this is the party. Even roadside people understand now that it is individual. Now, whether you are a Muslim, a Christian, or any religion, the suffering has not eluded anybody. Insecurity is as terrible in the north, in Jigawa, in Katsina, in Maiduguri, as it is in the south, in, in Nusuka area, in Enugu, in, in, in Makoni, in, 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 in Benue State, in Taraba State, and nobody is exempt. Today, take that food for thought. Be a valuable person, not a valueless entity. Stand up on your feet. Tell your friends, your brothers, your loved ones. Yes, you are struggling with party. You may not. Nobody says you must change party. But if your party cannot change you and cannot change the country, I won't answer for you. You can put it aside and vote the right people. We are the brink of history and it shall be made. Lift up your voice and say, Father. Father. Now, Isaiah chapter 35 verse 2 said, It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it. The excellency of Camel and Sharon, they shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God.